Hello students. Today we'll discuss about a sales management process or selling process. We'll call it as for any customer who'll be expecting any kind of a product, and uh, there should be a process of selling uh, products and services to the customers. Here, a sales guy or a salesman, a sales manager, must have. Uh, uh, undergo with some certain training program in order to how to sell the products to the customers. Here I am going to explain about how to go and how to sell the products and services to the customers. In this process, you can see the first step is the pre-sales presentation. In this pre-sales presentation, you have to do the groundwork of a customer needs, wants what kind of products are also already there in the market, what kind of competitors are there in the market, what kind of products they are selling it, what is their cost, production, uh, example, advertisements, marketing activities, sales activities, everything we should do this before getting into your products and before getting in, before selling your products to the customers and services. So this in pre-sales presentation, you need to acquire all the data and all the knowledge of the market. So the next step is prospecting. Prospecting means you need to identify the potential buyers who are capable of buying or who are having the intention of buying the products and services from the market. So such customer database or such potential customers are called as prospective customers. So once you need to identify the prospective customers to sell the products and services to them. So prospecting is a, a kind of a process or it's a uh, how to how to increase or how to uh, make the identify the potential customers here. So there are some steps or there are some you know, I mean, I mean, uh, plans you need to make you know, to make or increase the base of prospective customers. Maybe from the market, from the database or from the reference of the competitor, I mean companies, from the old database or from the your own ideas or from the retailers from the wholesalers or from the market so or from by just cold calling so these are the steps you know, where to make the identify the prospective customers and uh, make them and into the database and uh, ensure that their the wants and needs are meeting or matching to your uh, products and services uh, take an example of a product of uh, uh, maybe you are selling uh, uh, TV or any electronic gadgets. So identifying them is like uh, uh, getting like you know, getting the database of the local market and make the survey of the people like you know whether you make some uh, marketing activities and uh, give your contact numbers and or get the contact database of the customers. You make the call and uh, tell them the ideas of what or products or uh, services that you are selling in the market. And if they show any kind of, uh, I mean, uh, I, I mean, needs or if they show any desire to buy products, such customers will call it as prospective customers. So after prospecting the process, then you are jumping into the next process called pre-approach. Pre-approach, uh, before selling the process, never, uh, the one thing you should keep it in your mind that never do sales at a first visit. Whenever you meet a person, don't jump into the sales. So that will never work out and people will get embarrassed. So before that, you need to make uh, some pre-approach. Pre-approach means like uh, you have to approach them in a polite way. You know, to make a, take a appointment with them. And uh, before, before getting into the I mean, uh, presentation or you fix up a time, date, uh, you know, venue, where you're going to meet and where you should go. Such and things you such and all things you know which comes under pre-approach process. This is very crucial time because uh, normally you know when you see uh, if somebody comes to your home to sell something, the moment you see them that the first uh, you know I mean the word which you utter is to get lost. So the same thing happens to any kind of a sales management guy to without go without do kind of any kind of pre-approach process. So next. Uh, uh, I mean the pre-approach process. I mean pre-approach when you do 
uh, you have to this is a i mean part where you need to gain a lot of uh, you know the sources of information of the company and uh, their uh, branches the employees decision maker and uh, the you know the chronological order of decision making from you know, from whom to whom it will go and uh, the purchase orders who are going to release the purchase orders and uh, use the product everything you need to you know the i mean correct the information so that will really helps you to make more and more sales to the prospective customers so that is called pre approach normally happens you know, i'll take i'll take an example of you know the pre approach uh, for example when you when when you go for a cold calling matlab when you go for a sales uh, take an example if you going to sales a uh, sale uh, i mean uh, i mean the led tv to the lot so you just cannot sell a one single led tv to the one i mean the one room so before that the in the pre approach i mean process you need to uh, take the information dig the information about the about the lot that how many rooms are there and uh, so that you can sell to the, all the rooms and how many lots he is having in across uh, you know his district or his area so that you can collect all the information and at a stretch you can sell to the all the lots probably probably you to, you must have that idea of selling and that uh, particular idea will comes only through this pre approach so after pre approach after getting all the data all the information so then you are ready to ready to go and approach the customer with your uh neatly groomed neatly uh you know dressed neatly you know with your uh, proper uh, i mean attire proper things that you carry to the customers to approach him so that that will first impression will really gives more advantage to you know attract the more and more customers so in this pre approach okay then then we will go with the approaching the customer approaching the customer means then you to uh like in you know, a proper you know attire proper handshake proper washing proper you know uh I mean products demonstration products which you carry and you know proper uh, uh, time and venue you fix it before that you going into the uh, presentation so that this is the approach so for example when you when you see in us people will expect you to do handshake and uh, come on time and uh, you to be at a sharp place so they will uh, i mean take the time for you to uh, meet you uh, uh, um, for the, for their uh, appointment so like that uh, when you approach customers at the right time at the right place is very much necessary and the next thing is sales presentation and demo sales presentation this is a very crucial part of the i mean sales actually and uh, before getting this i uh, mean approach as i told you don't don't jump into the sales you know in approach also in approach you try to uh, gain their what their needs want and what their expectations and what are the uh, what are their the expansion of their branches business areas everything you need to gain it so that that will really helps you in um, do the adaptive selling adaptive selling means uh, based on the like uh, context based on the information that you i mean get it to get from the customer and based on that you need to i mean progress or do sales more on the their needs and wants that is called adaptive selling so in that you now so the the next uh, process is will you go a sales presentation and demo this this very sales presentation is very much crucial when you do uh, with the customers so for this sales presentation you must have a thorough knowledge about the products or services what you are selling it the 100% knowledge on uh, product or services is very much necessary for the sales guy uh, when when because it, if it leads to a lot of i mean objections Uh, when you uh, raised by the customers so at that point after you cannot say that uh, you will be not knowing or i don't know you cannot say it so that will uh, mean lose confidence on you to uh, i mean uh, get the i mean buyers will get uh, from your uh, you know source of information so in presentation that you know you need to go with the audio visual presentation or a laptop or pamphlet or whatever that your company is providing that you need to carry it and you to present it to the respective Uh, customers so along with the sales presentation you must also do a demonstration of the product for example if you are uh, demonstrating a um, uh, camera so you must show the camera how it really works and what is the zoom uh, how when we take the pictures of uh, the I main that uh, from the camera how it from the zooming 
and how, how far and I mean how far it is take the good pictures, video on and everything, you know, to show it uh, you know in practically to the customers with the demonstration of the product. That will really uh, helps more and more, you know, get the confidence on selling it. So in this uh, you know product, the reliability of the product is very much important, you know, in selling the products. Reliability means like whenever the customer is required to use the product, that point of time the product should you know, mean work or use it. Know, whenever they want to do it so that reliability when you show when you show that demo properly so that will really add advantage to your selling process after the selling process sales presentation of demoing uh, demo then you going to handle the customers objections how are you going to handle the customer objections uh, before getting into objections you must listen properly with the what exactly the customers expectations are so objections cannot solve at a moment because sometimes you will not having any kind of I mean authority to give any kind of uh, discounts or you know any kind of uh, I mean uh, uh, you know offers and anything like that. So listen to the properly to the objections. What exactly the I mean customers are saying? Maybe 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 the product objections, maybe the price objections, maybe the the warranty guarantee objections or the you know services objections. Or the installation objections, many many objections may come. Uh, you must thorough have that skills to, I mean, solve the objections what customers are expecting it from you actually. So when you fail to do or when you, when when you fail to solve the objections, then you will fail to I mean sell the products also. That's why before that you know you must have a lot of patience, a lot of skills. These negotiation skills are very much required to I mean solve the objections of the customers because sometimes customers are very crazy sometimes some, some more smarter than you know the sales management guy also so indeed like you must have a thorough knowledge about the products so when you solve the objection then and there itself then the customer will get really get the confidence to buy the products so that point of time you need to close the sale as and when the moment customers say happy about the, uh, your presentation so normally it happens at the moment you close the sale uh, try to correct the uh, the payment uh, whatever the I mean guidelines or whatever there is I mean the uh, I mean given by the company so maybe maybe 50 percent of the I main amount can be collected at the point of the sale or rest 50 is after the installation on erection of the products some products may uh, deliver after the delivery also products you can buy the I mean check collect the amount from the customer or it may go with the 50 50 so in that process you need to close the order and the moment you check, take the signature from the customer so that you know you can uh, release purchase order from the customer so this this happens you know when you corporate uh, more key accounts when you meet any kind of uh, key accounts uh, I mean like uh, like uh, the corporate accounts when you meet them and uh, as and when you go and it will, it will not end up so the person again will go with the I mean purchase officer or purchase manager or MD or VP to get the approval from them so before that, it, uh, you should know that how, how the process will go from whom to whom. So you need to follow up that action actually, because sometimes the the big order, huge orders, you know, not happens, you know, in a day or two. It will take some week because they have to do meetings and they have to close the order and whatever the even they will get the quotation from other uh, you know sources of companies also. So by calculating all the I mean um, their I mean area, then they'll come come back to the I mean. Um, giving the purchase order to the respective I mean, vendor. So the, in this duration, you have to do post uh, sales follow. Sales follow. It may be during this uh, during the sales or post sales also. Because not normally ha what happens in the Indian context, the moment you s sell the product, it's it's mean over and there is no I mean, relationship with the seller and or the buyer. So that should not be the I mean the follow up action actually. We should take care of the until. Uh, installation of the product, uh, I mean, delivering the product and giving the proper services on time time without asking the customers. It may be customers may be busy, they may forget about the dates and other things. You must remind them. So, this relationship, this follow up is very much required, uh, you know, in during the sales process. When you do all this process thoroughly, I'm, I'm just talking about a single customer how this really process happens. When you have the database of a lot of customers, when you're meeting them and doing the sales and uh, as and when you require so that will really even that will increase the organizational goals also indirectly mutually you will also get a lot of incentives 
a lot of uh, you know, benefits from the company when you do a you know, lot of sales. So with this, I'm going to conclude this particular uh, sales or uh, sales selling process and how to do sales, you know.